What? Impounded? Okay. Well, just remember to flush your stash and don't say anything without a lawyer, okay? Like good luck, Fred. Well, there goes our last chance at a ride. I guess we really are stuck here. And now that we've got the Boo Brothers hunting the ghosts for us, why don't we look for that treasure Farquhar mentioned? Like, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one treasure in this house, and it's right in here! <laughs> what the fuck?! Go on, Shaggy, open it. No! Don't worry, I know what's in there. Hey, you like eating cake, right? Sure! Mmm, <laughs> three weeks old! Why, do your job! Oh, hey, pal. Just fueling up before we find them ghosts for you. Can't hunt on an empty stomach. Now let's get started, boys, just like Pops taught us. We'll take it one floor at a time, starting with the attic. What's the holdup? You know, union rules say we have to take at least one break every hour, so... Don't care. Yeah. Right, Rink, we got ripped off. Like, I think you're right, Scoop. I really should have got a quote before hiring those guys. And on top of that, they ate all the food. While we're here, we should probably get some ice. You know, for Farquard. Yeah, like that ape sure did a number on him. Nearly straightened out his spine. Hey Shaggy, remember how you said there was treasure in here? Like, how about that? Maybe I really do have family jewels after all. There's something else in here. It's addressed to you, Shag. It says, Dear Shaggy, congratulations on finding this message. No doubt you remembered that I keep all my valuables in the refrigerator. Actually, I forgot. In, in the, the time, time that, that I've been, been here, here, I've learned much about our family's history and the secret of the family jewels. But as I'm sure you've guessed, being so obscenely wealthy has also made me incredibly paranoid. Remember what your mother did at Thanksgiving? I do. I have therefore left the treasure where our ancestor, Silas Beauregard, hid it. Should I die, I will leave the entire fortune to you, but only if you can finish this scavenger hunt I've made for you. Delightfully fun, don't you think? To find the next clue to the family jewels, go outside, then wait for the house to shit a brick? Good luck, Shaggy. I remain forever your shagworthy uncle. Shit a brick? What the hell does that mean? I don't get it. Yeah, Shagworthy did always love a bad joke. But let's go out and see what we can find. Anything jumping out at you guys? Like, is the answer dropping right in front of you? Uh-uh. Whoop. Okay, like, you guys check that way and I'll go this way. We'll meet around back. Whoops. Sorry, Uncle Scoob. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay, real guy. Little guy? Hi. Oh, no! Like, no, Uncle Shagworthy, don't tell me where the treasure is. Give me a convoluted series of clues. That's a great idea. And what kind of a clue do you call that? Wait for the house to shit a brick. Scat plays not off the table. Ah! <laughs> Did you just give that Beauregard the wet cardinal? Yep, just like Pops taught us. Shagworthy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> stop! Hey guys, stop. I got the clue figured out. You mean the house shit a brick? 
just like we did? Right. It fell from the chimney. Like wow. Now that's what I call really good timing. What are the odds? I can't believe Uncle Shagworthy actually came up here just to hide something. Hey guys, look, something shiny. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, Scoop, hold still. Ugh. Like jackpot! Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ah! 